10 Simple Secrets of a Healthy Smile What if I told you that there are totally natural and cost-effective ways to heal those painful cavities from the comfort of your own home? From coconut pulling to picking the right toothbrush, the things we're about to share will have you smiling from ear to ear. But hang on just for a second there. We've hidden three light bulbs. That's right, our lovely symbol here on the bright side, among the tips. Be the first to find them and let everyone in the comments know that you're the most attentive. 1. Change your eating habits Changing your eating habits and switching to a healthy diet works wonders for your whole system, no matter what your goal is. But if your goal is a healthier smile, then you'll be happy to know that a study published in the British Medical Journal suggests that a change in diet can actually reverse tooth decay. The first thing you should keep in mind is that you need to get plenty of calcium, because it's the main building component of your bones and teeth. Include lots of calcium-rich dairy products in your diet, like milk, yogurt, sour cream, and cheese. Can't go wrong with cheese, now can you? It's also good to go organic and GMO-free, because food grown using fertilizers rich in phosphate contains a lot of phytic acid, which is no good for dental health, because it blocks your body's absorption of calcium. And we already covered how important calcium is for your teeth and bones. And finally, it might seem a little obvious at this point, but you're gonna have to give up on sugary drinks and go for unsweetened beverages instead. Replace them with fruit smoothies, unsweetened tea, or good old plain water, which will not only keep your whole body hydrated, but also increase your saliva production. 2. Chew sugar-free gum Do you feel like a little piece of your soul is missing if you don't have a pack of gum on you? Yeah. I know the feeling. Well, good news for the gum chewing fan club, chewing gum can actually help you prevent tooth decay, but it's got to be sugar-free. Sugar-free gum contains a natural sweetener called xylitol, yet unlike food, xylitol doesn't lead to bacterial growth in your mouth. Plus, as you chew, your mouth fills with saliva, which naturally washes away any remnants of food on your teeth. It's like your body's own natural Listerine. 3. Take care of your toothbrush Always pick a small or a medium-sized toothbrush and make sure that its bristles can reach into the crevices of your molars where food tries to hide from a dreadful fate of being brushed away. Also, don't use those fancy little toothbrush covers because they're no more than a breeding ground for bacteria. Oh, and we thought they were supposed to keep our toothbrushes clean. Instead, just rinse your brush with water after each use and leave it to air dry. But don't leave it out on the sink counter to dry. This tidbit of information will change your life forever. Every time you flush the toilet, microscopic fecal bacteria spray the room and can land right on your nearby toothbrush. Yeah, gross. Keep your toothbrush in the bathroom medicine cabinet if there's room. If not, then maybe invest in a bigger cabinet? And finally, change your toothbrush every three to four months because the bristles deteriorate with time and usage and can't get your teeth as clean as a new brush can. 4. Follow the basics of dental care According to the International Dental Health Association, nearly 42% of adults use just a toothbrush for their oral care. FYI, just a toothbrush isn't enough. If you want to protect your teeth from early decay, you have to stick to the three-step routine both in the morning and before going to bed. I know, you're tired, had a rough day, you've already gotten comfortable in bed, but hey, no excuses. Brush your teeth for two minutes at least twice a day. Get all the inner and outer surfaces of your teeth, paying particular attention to all the little nooks and crannies in between. Start with your upper teeth, then take care of your lower teeth. Don't forget to brush that tongue, it's full of bacteria that cause bad breath. However, brushing doesn't do enough. Even if you have the most expensive, high-tech, innovative, spinning, twirling, dancing, singing, back rubbing, bill paying, whatever, toothbrush out there. Use floss to pull out any remaining gunk from in between the crevices of your teeth and even in your gums. That's where cavity-forming bacteria love to hide. In the end, rinse all that out with mouthwash. Any mouthwash has antibacterial effects and helps you get rid of any remaining microorganisms in your mouth. Although it's good for your diet, plain old water won't do here. The effect will last longer if you use mouthwash instead. 5. Visit your dentist for regular cleanings Oh no, the big scary D word! We're talking about the dentist here. 
Yes, you have to go to the dentist for regular cleanings. It's not the most pleasant experience, but it'll save you from a really unpleasant one in the long run. No matter how well you brush or floss your teeth, there will always be areas that are hard to reach and stuff that needs to be scraped off only by professional dental tools. The dentist will clean near the gum line on the back and front of your teeth to remove any plaque and tartar. So, how are you doing with the light bulbs? Remember that you've got to find all three. Keep looking. 6. Add supplements and vitamins to your diet. To promote salivation, remember your body's natural mouthwash, you need to consume a lot of foods rich in fiber, such as fruits, nuts, and vegetables. The best ones are apples, bananas, Brussels sprouts, and peas. Also, be sure to eat whole grain foods. They contain a lot of vitamin B and iron. Plus, the magnesium in them helps your body absorb calcium, thus strengthening your teeth. And lastly, eat seafood more often if you want to get more vitamin D from your meals. Salmon, herring, canned tuna, and sardines are a great source of this essential vitamin. 7. Make a garlic paste Garlic is known for its antibacterial and antibiotic properties, so why not use it to treat tooth decay and cavities? If you use it the right way, it can also ease your pain if you've got a deep cavity. You'll need 3 to 4 crushed garlic cloves and 1 quarter teaspoon of rock salt. Mix the ingredients into a thick paste and rub it on the painful tooth. Leave the paste there for 10 minutes, then rinse it with mouthwash. You'll notice your cavity shrinking after a few weeks if you use it twice a day. Rubbing garlic oil can also help soothe the pain of a cavity. Even just eating raw garlic will do wonders for your teeth. 8. Try Coconut Oil Pulling You can try coconut oil pulling to naturally protect your teeth from decay. The oil pulls bacteria out of your teeth and naturally heals them. It's like some kind of coconut magic. Simply swish a tablespoon of coconut oil in your mouth for 20 minutes until your saliva and the oil turn a milky white color. Just don't swallow it. This oil pulling is so simple yet so effective that you can even incorporate it into your daily oral care routine after brushing and flossing. Just remember that it doesn't reverse tooth decay but rather prevents it. 9. Use salt water Don't worry, this trick isn't just reserved for those lucky people who live near the sea. Instead, you'll be making your own salt water. Its antibacterial, antiseptic, and anti-inflammatory properties will ease any pain in your mouth and drive out infection. Simply stir one half a teaspoon of salt into a glass of warm water and rinse your mouth with it for two minutes. Try to swish it specifically around your decayed tooth so that it can clean it out. Keep doing this for every three to four hours, and you'll see a positive change after four to five days. 10. Make your own toothpaste. Since you make it yourself, you can be sure that all the components are truly 100% natural and won't damage your health. You'll need just a few ingredients easily found in any store. 4 tablespoons of calcium powder, 1 tablespoon of stevia, 1 tablespoon of sea salt, 2 tablespoons of baking soda, and 1 quarter cup of coconut oil. Mix all the ingredients until you get a smooth paste, no lumps or crunchy stuff. And there you go! Use it as a substitute for your regular toothpaste. But please remember, don't use this toothpaste for more than 30 days in a row due to its abrasive nature and absence of fluoride. Do you already follow any of the advice listed above? Perhaps you know some other secrets to help prevent tooth decay. Feel free to share in the comments. And how did you do with those light bulbs? Did you manage to find all of them? Subscribe to our channel to be the first to see our cool updates.